Are you ready for the ultimate Geometry Dash challenge? Because I'm not. In today's video, I have 100 lives to do a platformer level of each difficulty. The way it's going to work is every time I die, I lose a life, obviously, but we're going to start with a two-star level. Whatever the newest two-star rated platformer level is, we're going to go from a two-star all the way to a 10-star. However, if we manage to complete the easy demon, we're going to move on to the medium demon, hard demon, insane demon, and extreme demon, if possible, all in 100 lives. I'm going to be playing this very carefully and I'm going to try to get as far as I can doing normal geometry dash. The furthest I've ever done is a hard demon. I think though, I could get a little bit further with platformer levels if I play carefully. Maybe we can get to an extreme demon. So I started with the newest rated two star, the trolley problem, but it's like a text-based level. So we're not going to do it. We're just going to go to a more normal, all the levels I want to do. I want to do like normal platformers, not like special crazy ones. Valley of Ashes by Cadio GD is the first easy two moon level that we're doing. Wake up. That is obviously a spike. Is that going to come back up? I'm scared. I'm going for it. Oh, it cycles and it goes back down that way. Okay. This is kind of a somber, nice chill level. Now I'm going to be playing these levels, hopefully very carefully, hopefully very slow. And I'm hoping that in the first set of levels, I just don't die any lives. Would be absolutely nice. Though that spike was behind that tree and I thought I was kind of dead. All right, new section. This is pretty cool. Oh, there, so there was a coin if I would have went on the other side there. I'm not too sure where I should be jumping. Should I jump on the branches? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. You can land on, on the grass. Duh. Okay, this is a cool little, like, atmospheric level. It's pretty chill. That's a long jump. Oh, you can just land. Oh, you can just land on the ground. All right. That's... I mean, it is a... It's a two-star, right? What's the worst that could happen? And that's it. The Valley of Ashes. Nice. We didn't lose any lives. 100 lives left. Of course. It's the two, not the two star, the two moon. Okay. So here we go. Did I beat this one? Jewels of the Skull by Alicia. Rumors say a cursed skull is resting at the top of an ancient temple in the West. You gather all your courage and head inside. Who knows what you'll find? All right. Jewels of the Skull. This is the three star. Cool. We are just going into an ancient temple. We're going to find those jewels. I feel like a lot of my deaths in some of these levels, I feel like I'm going to be dying really stupid deaths. By the way, I'm not looking for any coins or anything. I'm just trying to not die because the nature of the challenge is I have a certain amount of lives and coins. Actually, if I get coins, I get a one up. That's that's the rule of the cha these challenges all the time. Wow, it's dark in here. Better find some light outside. That's the rule. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, dude. I'm I'm absolutely spooked. Where? Where's their light? I, that looks like there could be some light there. I guess over here, this is. Oh, call! Hi, dude. That was that was a bit of a cruel death, man. Putting the spike down there. Like I said, a lot of my deaths I think are gonna be like un. What? A lot of. Oh, you can't. You could see the spikes for a brief second there. A lot of my deaths are going to be unusual, weird deaths. Shiny. Okay. But I didn't get a light. Hey. I dude. I need a light. Catch. There's a little mouse or something, but I still don't have a light. Oh my. Okay, is this a secret? I should go back outside. Oh, I should go back outside and find a torch. Was there a torch outside? A campfire. I just need flint to light it. I think I saw some next to the temple. Oh, uh, what? Hey, what? Oh, we got to get these items. Okay, I got some flint. I see. I was trying to do the level blind, completely blind wild. I was absolutely trying to do this blind. Wild. And then I can... Oh, dude, that's sick. You can light that. And then... Uh, I should go back. No, I, I have a torch now. I'm trying to... Hey, I'm trying to catch that. I guess not. Okay. Let's just try to skedaddle, I guess. Oh, this is... This is pretty nuts. This is like a whole... Whole area. We need to start an elevator somehow. We got to get these gears going. Because I... This is... This isn't powered up is the problem. So... Oh, hey. Well, that'll power it up. Now, do these gears kill me, though, is the question, because these gears are up. Oh, my. Would they kill me? No, they don't kill you. Okay, excellent. Oh, hey, hey. Looks like there's something missing. Okay, so we need to we need to bring something back to this pedestal so we can get it. We can get the jewels. Oh, okay. And it's probably something over here. Wait, is that the cursed skull? I finally found it. I can grab it and go. 
There may still be some secrets here. Whatever, let's steal it. Yeah, I wonder why that torch thing keeps on popping up. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. What? Yeah, what did we unleash? Was it worth it? Am I going to die for doing that? The end. Oh, did I just get like a bad ending? Am I going to... Do I lose for that? Or do I do I win? But maybe... I think you probably get some coins if you get like a better ending than that. If you get the jewels and then go for the coins or something. I only got... Yeah, I only got like 14% of the collectibles. Um, Wait, wait, wait. Quit game? Achievements? Continue? Do I just win if I hit quit game? Yeah, I do. I win. Okay, great. I lost one life to this level. Cool. But obviously there's way more secrets to be had, which I implore you to do. But for the nature of this challenge, we don't need to do that. We just wanted our completion. That's very cool. All right. The four-star level doing is Some Guy's Trials by Ruthless LB. I'm so glad I finally finished my first full 2.2 platformer. All right, let's do it. Some Guy's Trials. Just some guy. Hello. You here for my trials? I am. Collect all my pearls and then go east. I said the pearls, not my cool hat. I stole the cool hat. But how do I jump over there? Oh, yeah, this. Wait, I thought that was west. Oh, we're supposed to go east. We got to get the pearls first, though. Can you land on the ball? I feel like it's not a risk I'm willing to take because lives are absolutely precious. And I feel like I could, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk that. I guess we just go under, huh? I thought well, huh? I thought we could let, go up there for platforms. Wait, wait, wait. That, those things are going to kill me, aren't they? We can jump. We can land on the. Oh, oh, we got to collect the gears. Dude, I thought the gears were going to kill us, but that's cool. As we collect the gears, the elevator rises. That is actually really cool. I can't believe I just died of life. All right. Look how fast I'm going. We got a pearl. Oh, dude. Hey, there's a coin I missed. I could have gotten one of my the lives that I lost back. All right. So this is cool. We hit the uh, question mark blocks and we swap. This is a really cool level. I'm, I'm quite a fan of this. We swap the blocks and we got another pearl. We got to be on the lookout for some of these coins. There's a coin. Oh, it's just like a series of like kind of hard jumps. This is totally worth it. There we go. All right. That's going to be... That's one life back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa what, what? Why am I stuck? What? Okay, just go. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop. All right. Oh, we have to dodge. We have to dodge everything. Those are just windows. Yeah, those don't kill us. Okay, that's good. So that's, that's pretty chill. There is... Whoa, dude, I saw the coin and I went for it and it was on the other side. So there's no way I was getting it. And I almost died for it. That would have been very, 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 very bad. All right, nice. Another pearl. And you took my hat. I'm... Thanks for playing. Oh, that's it. That's cool. All right, excellent. Nice. Very, very cool level. And I got a new moon. Or I got a new UFO because of my moons is what I wanted to say. I died two lives on that, but I got one coin. So I, we're at 98 lives. Okay, the newest rated five star is one called Wipeout. Okay, Wipeout. Shader filter? Okay, yeah, let's take the filter off. I think it'll be easier to read, even though it might look cooler. Um, I just want it to be like super easy. Wait, what? Oh, you can double jump. Okay, that's really important. Okay, I was wondering how we were gonna clear that gap, but now I know. And let's be on the lookout for some coins, I guess. Oh, Wipeout is in like, this is basically, uh, Wipeout is like a game show where you gotta you, uh, climb and, and do all sorts of, uh, uh, you compete against people in like an obstacle course is what I want to say. Uh, this is, this is a really cool level. Holy, this is really, this is really awesome. Boom, boom, boom. That is absolutely satisfying. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I was going to try to like, uh, do some speed run strats. Boom, jump through those. And those spikes would probably get you if you didn't jump properly on there. All right. This is pretty sick. This is so fun. I love levels with double jumps too, honestly. Double jumping is just so much fun in platformer games. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This level could be really long. I wonder, am I going to have to double jump through this? No, I can make that. It's still a five star. Shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Ta-da, we did it. I got number one. And we have a winner. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. I don't think I got a coin. I think you have to do that way faster to get a coin. All right, the five star is done and we did not lose any lives. All right, the newest rated six moon level is NSGD World 2-1. Important, two player controls. You can bounce on some enemies heads. Wall jump off most blocks, interact player to left, ground pound player to jump. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I see. I got to jump on this cloud. Okay, very cool. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> That's awesome. I got big. If I take damage, do I die right away? Or, or what? Like, how's that going to work? Okay. The ground pound is interesting. So this feels like we're in like a Mario kind of sand world. So that's, this is, this is neat. I got a coin. Oh boy. Oh no, that's not good. That's not, oh, oh, you can jump into that and you fly up in the air. That's, that's, that's really cool. Okay. You don't actually have to land on top of it. All right. So let's, let's go. Let's go. Um, this is pretty wild. Little piranha plants coming down. Um, wow. On the bottom there. Oh, you can go onto the yellow pipe down below. I thought they were coming out of all of them. So you know what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Player two left. Okay. So player two left takes us down into here. Can we swim? Oh, yeah, you can. Because you are a UFO. Oh, sick. But you don't have much time to get that. Oh, that's pretty tough. Is that coin worth getting? Yeah, it is. Boom, son. I got it. Dude, it's like you're playing a Mario level. This is great. And we can wall jump. Wow, wall jumping, that's that's pretty wild. I gotta say, is it worth it to get this in the quicksand? Yeah, it is. Oh, dude, dude, it's a chain chomp. Okay, what happens if we hit this B? Oh, you need to hit that to get through. Okay, I'm not working on all these coins. I think I've already missed so many. I don't think it really matters. Dude, this is such a great nod to Mario levels. This is actually, it's a lot of fun. I'm quite into this level. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm going for it. Nice. We got we got the classic Mario checkpoint, the skull flag. It's usually a Bowser flag, isn't it? Okay, how are we going to get over you, though? That looks that looks like a pretty hard jump. Oh, I know how we can do it. We can just jump over his head from there because he moves left and right. Yeah, duh. okay. Sick. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, dude, just... Oh, no. Hey, yo, yo, slopes! Yeah, the levels are definitely getting harder. So as we get closer... Dude, that's Womp that actually considered a connection. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh! Okay, now that I'm small, though, my, hit, my hitbox is smaller. But this Womp section is actually pretty bananas. What? Oh, my God, dude. Okay, this is this is the end, anyways. We can land on the trees, though, right? Yeah, we might get a coin if we land on the top of the flagpole, so I'm going for it. In true Mario fashion. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. All right. Uh, I just got one coin then. Because I didn't do the time trial, I didn't get all the coins. I didn't die, though. So I basically am at 99 lives left because I got plus one up. That's pretty sweet. The newest rated seven star is the climb by Pizzark. So I might actually get through all the non-demon levels without dying. Actually, that's not true. Insane levels get really hard. And at this point, it's going to start to get really hard, too. Okay. Cool, let's go. The overworld. Oh, that's great. Dude, classic uh, Zelda 64. Moves the counters to the widescreen. Oh, I'm not sure. I guess that's just for widescreen users. Wow, that's trippy. No! Oh, that's it does tell you a counter of like how many blue coins and normal coins you have, which is really nice. What? Oh, it's a little, uh, it's a little like side room. That's neat. As long as it's not dangerous and it won't kill me. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, I mean. No, that's that's one blue coin. Dude, this level's awesome. There's like different pathways just for the uh, blue coins, which uh, they might be increasing in difficulty though as we go. Like what's this? Uh, oh, I see a red coin is worth a bunch. Are These are like rupees, aren't they? Okay, are they rupee denominations? All right, well, let's not die to this spike. Oh yeah, of course there's arrows telling you that you can jump there, okay. Dude, this level is pretty good. <laughs> this is a great level. Oh my. Yeah, okay. Well, that works. Let's get let's get the checkpoint. And we are we're flying. Let's go down here. I wonder if we should have Oh my. Oh, well, that's not that hard to get. Yeah, totally worth. It. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love it how it teleports you up so you don't got to go back through it. It's like the quality of life in this level is actually like unreal. Really cool. <gasps> Holy, I almost died. And yes, we will we will get that key. Question mark? I did something. Oh my god. Is there anything that's going to kill me though? No. This is neat. I feel like I've seen this in a platformer level before. I forget which one. What does this do? Oh, that takes me up here. And then we got to fall down here. There is a question mark up at the top though. I feel like it's going to kill me. But I also feel like we got to get it because I don't see any other coins. Oh, I see. It's just a, it's a coin up there. Okay, nice. We got it. Got the coin. Awesome. That's going to be plus one up when we inevitably finish the level. Uh, quite a long level though, but very, very cool. So I don't mind at all. Oh boy, but that, oh. Am I gonna die to that? No, I'm not. It looks like I'm gonna hit my head on that. Okay, man. I, dude, 
It's getting harder. I'm having to start to like really think about my jumps, you know, looking at like what kind of the environment might kill me. It's pretty clear here. Thank God. Wow, I'm not even that far into the level because I'm only at like 39 coins. I've just now gone into a temple, into the underground, the second part. So I feel like I should go back this way because the other, oh yeah, it's for a blue coin because the other way looks like it's like the actual way we have to go. Excellent. So I have three blue coins. I love it how the blue coins are like for pretty tough extra challenges. And yeah, yeah, I saw that, saw that wall. So this is the, uh, now it's starting to get to the point where I can actually die quite easily. Um, I, I thought the lava was filling up. <laughs> it was filling up a little bit, but it doesn't keep on going. So we're at the point where I can start dying quite easily, which is good because it's going to be intense. The, the, up until now, the star levels, what? Oh, I had to go there to progress. I see. I thought like that was a blue coin path, but that was actually just the main path. Levels are getting a bit challenging. I can die, but as long as I'm careful, I'm fine. I worry that what we're going to do is we're eventually going to, oh dude, that was pretty close. I worry that eventually we're going to get to a level that is kind of timed. Like I have to go at a certain speed and then that's going to be really rough, but I'm sure we're going to get one at some point. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hit the diamond. Where are we going? Is there going to be a boss fight? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. All right. No. Th this, oh, this is the climb. This is the climb out. Let's... Now, here's the question. During the climb... Oh, okay. I was worried. I was like, is the lava going to start filling up? I just feel like the lava is going to start filling up at a certain point in this level. Oh, man. I love this retro sounding music, though. It's absolutely brilliant. And this is... Oh, but the controls are backwards. I had to, like, go right to do that. I don't know. That, that was trippy. Yeah, this is for another blue coin, 100%. That was, that was pretty tough. Boom, we're going. I feel like I should have more uh, gold coins, though. I only have 81 out of 40, but I have 4 out of 5 blue coins. So unless unless I just get a bunch later on or something. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a red coin. Nice, juicy one. All right, I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, that changes the gravity when you hit the switch. Oh, that's cool. A way to change the gravity. Nice. Sweet, dude. Okay. I'm still worried that that lava is going to start filling up at any time now. I feel like this is the time when it's going to start filling up. In the intense music. Yeah. You going to, you coming? I, I, I was waiting for it. I knew it. Okay. This is where we can start dying. And I am not going to be going for coins if they're hard to get because I would rather not risk an entire life just for the potential to get an extra life because I might have already missed some of these coins like on the way up. So I'm just, I'm playing it pretty carefully. Although I'm pretty sure there's something in there. No, it's not. What was I doing? Holy, and I thought, I thought that dash orb was going to kill me. I thought it was going to send me right into the spike. I'm going pretty fast though. All right, anywhere where a potential blue coin would be, though. We've been working really hard for these blue coins, you know? But I, I didn't see a spot. Oh, there it is. Well, that's pretty chill. Nice. You just got to go between the spikes for that. And boom. What? Oh, I got to go back. Yes, I unlocked something and I got to go back over here. Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So we got all the blue coins. However, I feel like we're not going to be able to get all of these uh, normal coins. Oh, dude, I almost died there. I thought I was going to hit the spike. Oh, dude, the lava's coming. Holy shoot. Holy shoot. Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. I got it. I got to hit the switch. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Just get out. I oh, I didn't hit the other switch for the other coin. I didn't have enough anyways. I only had 138 coins. Okay. I missed two coins somewhere. Okay, good. So I'm at 100 lives. So I've only died two lives in... Uh, well, I know I've died more than that, but I've got coins, you know? Excellent. I was at 98 lives and uh, I got two lives back. So I have no lives lost. Excellent. Okay, now we're doing the newest eight star level, which is UK pizza delivery by Epic Lemon. Does this mean we're going to get all the way to an extreme demon is the question. UK pizza delivery, Epic Lemon, 99, 100 lives, insane. Oh, welcome to your first day on the job. You'll be delivering pizzas to our customers. This is your first day. You'll only be delivering 10 pizzas today. We don't have any cars or anything down here, so you need to walk. Don't worry about the pizza getting cold. He could keep it warm for days. Start your first delivery. I'll put the pizzas on this table here to maximize efficiency. Let's walk up to the pizza and press jump. Okay. First delivery is to a house just nearby. Good luck. What? I'm delivering pizzas while playing geometry. What? Deliver pizza to house number 302 on layer two. 
I don't know if this is a level I would want to be playing right now. What? Hey, you there. Yes, you. I have a gift for you. It's a very special gift. If you decline, you won't get another chance. Do you accept? Yes. Have fun. I got the speed boots. Nice, dudes. Okay, I got speed boosts. This is the amusement park. I need to get to 302, though. So not this way. This is an odd level to be getting in this challenge. I'm delivering pizza. So I guess we just keep on going. The food market. Memorial of Jefferson, nod and all. So we need to go to layer two. Huh. And we got to go to three. There's 301. So 302 is over here. But how do we die on this level? Who's there? Nathan, where have you been? I have your pizza. But you're not my son. Who are you then? You're here to deliver a pizza? All right. I did order one. Thanks. Oh, wow. So this is this is a thing. <laughs> nice job on your first delivery. These next pizzas are to the local mine. You can get there through gate two. Okay, so I have three more pizzas to the local mine. That's where we're going. So this is uh, this is gate two. Yeah. Yeah, we're going we're going to the mines to deliver some pizza. So now we need to play it kind of carefully, I guess. But I'm not I'm not. Oh, yeah. Okay, this, this is the way we got to go. So we have some dangers. I wonder why it's insane rated though. Like the last level to me felt harder um i'm not too sure if i should be picking that axe i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i'm delivering pizzas in geometry dash and this delivery driver or this delivery walker person is absolutely dedicated dude you're here to deliver pizza well that's not possible right now a bat stole the rocket from our minecart you gotta know where it is though probably on the left tower just outside you can go get it you'll be able to deliver your pizza what oh my god you guys, you guys are really putting me to work. Having to dodge electricity. Do normal pizza delivery drivers have to go through this? I, I don't think so. You got the rocket? Nice. Let me just put it into the minecart. And then we're going to go deeper into this mine. And all done. Just jump into the minecart to start the ride. What uh, What am I doing? I'm in a rocket minecart. This is wild. Dude, what a wild level. But there's going to be a bunch of obstacles. Okay, so when I jump in the air, my momentum doesn't help me much. Like, it doesn't push me forward. I actually have to hold forward. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is, this isn't, yeah, this is why it's rated insane. Okay, 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 okay. What? These jumps are hard because your momentum doesn't carry you. You gotta, I'm just doing a tiny jump. Tiny, tiny jump. No, no, what, 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 what? I landed on something. I feel like I'm not even close to finishing the level either because I still have six more pizzas to deliver. Yeah, you can just go underneath there. Dude, I'm so bad. Okay. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, whatever, we doing it. We doing it. I was, just, I was just reading that completely wrong. Okay. Cool. Four lives lost, though. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is a great level. GD 2.2 platformer levels have already come a long way. In terms of storytelling, don't jump out of there earlier, early, you idiot. Let's just get, let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, cool. Here, here we go. Three people that want some pizza. Pizza delivery? You actually came here to deliver the pizza? I did. I'm hardcore. I want my tip. Wow, I'm impressed. I didn't think the pizza would actually come. Well, thanks. We've been starving over here. What kind of things are they making a normal delivery worker do? You can get back to the city with the bat taxi that's just up ahead. Nice. Great. I'll, I'll definitely be taking that bat taxi. Because all those dangerous creatures in the mine don't want to deal with them. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> this level's great. It's great. Best platformer level I've ever played. Thank you, bat taxi. But you guys are the ones that were killing me. This next one is to a watchtower. Past gate one, which is just to the left of here. Oh, yeah. I know where gate one is. Okay. And it's just one. Wow, this level's long. Off we're going, past gate one. Oh dude, I thought that was a spike for a sec. Those gray things, I thought I was totally dead. All right, so this one doesn't look as deadly. These platformer jumps are, oh, oh, never mind. N never mind. Nice little spring, love it. And oh yeah, it's sinking. Dude, this is one hardcore pizza delivery guy. Honestly, your job is, your job is dangerous, bro. That was absolutely dangerous. I would not want to be delivering pizza in this world. Although it would be fun. It's just the thing about dying would be scary, you know? I don't know if... To, I don't know. Is pizza worth it? Are your customers' happiness... Is it worth it? Any pizza delivery worker, please leave the pizza here. I'm working somewhere else right now. Okay. I left the pizza on the floor. Do I have to go all the way back then? I guess I do. Next delivery. And the next ones are to an island on the lake nearby. You can get through gate... There, through gate three. Okay. I think gate three is on this layer, but I'm not too sure. There's the museum. There's the pizza palace. The rival company. You guys suck compared to me, though. There's gate three. 
free one-way one-minute raft ride oh i'm sure there's gonna be nothing dangerous about this i love it how it shows you how far along you are in the ride too that's pretty sweet dude this level is very well made this is a very very good level it's pretty long and there's a lot of places for me to potentially die but damn is it ever well made What? That was so close to me. You, you, I think it had homing capabilities. What is, what am I, how am I going to deal with this? Oh, let's go there. Okay. That was close, uh, but we did it. And hopefully we can take a bat taxi back. Dude, this level's so good. Here's your pizza. What's up? Pizza. Yo, you a real G for coming here. I'll remember you for the rest of my life. I'll name my children after you. Okay. EVW, you name them. I will come help you in any situation necessary. Anyway, there's a bad taxi here. Use it. Yeah, I'm totally. Thank God there's a bad taxi. And I'm guessing the next delivery is going to be three pizza to gate number four. Next delivery is to the top of the mountain here. You can get there from gate four. Okay, and then there's going to be one pizza left. Maybe we get to eat the last pizza. Gate number four. Going to the mountain. It progressively gets hard. Well, I was going to say it progressively gets harder and harder, but I, I don't think that's true just because the hardest time I had was uh, gate number two in the mine that was that was the hardest oh these move well, that's okay um pretty chill what what no yeah i gotta remember to land on these platforms that are like kind of underneath right on the ascent i'm just trying to land on like just the blocks and that's completely unnecessary like I, I gotta like land down here too you know um which i didn't have to there actually Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I, y y y that was pretty tough. That was the hardest jump we've done so far today, I think. Okay. What is what is this? This mountain is wild. All this anti-gravity stuff. Very cool. This world is a very cool world, but a very dangerous one. Oh, I see how that works. Dude, this level is it, it's getting pretty hardcore. Or has it always been hardcore? That was a cool little mechanic with the anti-gravity. Peak of Sivan Neb. So we climbed up 1,345 meters to deliver a pizza. Very, very hardcore of us. Oh, is that you? We gave you, do like some lava creature? Sniff, sniff. It's your pizza. Hello, special delivery. Do I smell pizza? Thank you for bringing it here. Please give it to me now. Okay, there you go. Two pizzas just for you. I'm delicious. Delicious. Jump on my back. I can take you back to town. Good. Why couldn't you have just come to town then and gotten your pizza? All right, we have one more pizza left. Who is it gonna go to? Last delivery is to the museum. After you do that, come back here to finish your shift. Dude, <laughs> we did all this in one shift. I climbed a mountain. I went to the deepest depths of a mine. I crossed some crazy like lava raft. All in a day's work, I suppose. And I know where the museum is. We've been by it a few times. Here we go. But what kind of horrors await us here? Geography of the UK. The UK, the underworld kingdom, is the landlocked nation on the continent of Hadesia. Climate in the UK is extremely hot, as is everywhere else on the continent. The land is mostly flat, with the highest mountain being Sivan Neb, uh, which we went to. Uh, species of the UK. <laughs> there's Jeffs, and there's big Jeffs, and then there's bats. Just, it's a bat. That's so funny. Okay, cool. Congratulations, your pizza has won a place at the museum. Let me put it on the pedestal and reveal what title your pizza has won. That song that was playing, I've heard that song before. It's a, it's a song from like a JRPG and I forget which one it was. It's gonna kill me because I know that song very well. Worst pizza of all- What? What do you mean worst pizza of all time? Hi! This is not an easy achievement by any means. Once again, congratulations. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's Persona. That's what it's from. God, I was like, what's it from? Why couldn't I remember? Yeah, duh, Persona, da da da. It's the uh, Velvet Room song. Da 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 da. How could I forget, man? That's I, I've heard that so many times. I've played Persona three, four, and five. I've heard the Velvet Room's music so many times. How could I forget? All right, we are done. Let's let's skedaddle. Hey, nice job on your first day. Fortunately, due to some news I heard, it will also be your last. You're fired. What? I, what? Bye. Excuse me. It's not my- you're the one that made the pizza, I'm just delivering it. You made the worst pizza ever. All right, that's wild. Okay, so we're sitting at- we're sitting at 91 Ooh. lives. 
Because, yeah, I, I started 100 and I died 9, went on this. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so 91 lives. Man, that UK pizza delivery, great. It's fantastic. Okay, we're going to be doing Dungeon Run by the Galaxy Cat. Enter the dungeon, collect coins, purchase items, and find the treasure. Cool. Dungeon Run. Uh, are we going to actually have to run, though? You only have 30 seconds in each dungeon, so be quick. Oh my god, this is going to be so hard, isn't it? Use player 2 to switch inventory slot. Okay. And we can use portals? Yeah, sure. I guess we'll do this. Okay, we're entering the dungeon. Generating dungeon. What? What? Okay. Can I... Okay, I only have 30 seconds, right? This is, that's pretty nuts. Okay, we need to go down here, right? I think. Oh my, what? Do I have to get all the coins, though? In, uh, do I have to get all the coins? I feel like I'm about to die. I think I have to get all the coins. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm, I am I died. Oh, you can buy things at the shop. You can get a dungeon. You used to unlock the gate in the dungeon, which I don't have. I need... Oh, you can get a ship portal, a robot portal, a mini portal. Interesting. So how many dungeons do you have to do to beat the uh, game, then? That's... This is cool. Okay, so there's places to go up. Is it completely randomly generated, though? I mean, to me, that sounds pretty wild, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have to get coins and then get out of the dungeon? So I have 30 seconds to get as many coins, and then I think I have to leave the dungeon the same way I came in. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I got to do. Yeah, you can return home. Yeah, okay, cool. I should have noticed that to begin with. So we can actually play it pretty carefully, right? I was playing a little crazy, although some of these jumps are pretty insane some of these randomly generated dungeons are very scary i think i'm dead because i don't know if there's a way for me to switch gravity escape but i can't i can't oh dude it's locked what i gotta find a key somewhere to get out my god dude but i can't find a key so do i just i don't get it dude i don't understand the concept very well so i died another life I mean, I guess I could buy this mini. So I'm a mini now. And now I'm not blocked anymore. Interesting. There's actually quite a lot of coin here. Okay, but that's a very hard jump to do. But I am a mini, so I can get coin pretty easily. Nice, that's cool. Okay, so the mini certainly does help. I think maybe if I go up here... No, I don't think I can go in there properly. Okay, so I got a lot of coin there. That was excellent. Yeah, as long as it doesn't, like, block me in. Like, whatever. Okay, but once again, sometimes it just screws you over. And you can't do anything unless you have, like, a robot, you know? Because, like, if it gives you a... If it locks the door at the entrance, you're just boned. But I do like having the mini now. Because, like, sometimes when, uh... You get this set up... Oh, there's a lock on that side. Maybe there was another exit somewhere else. Okay. That I just, like, messed up on. Great. How do you win, though? I'm guessing I need this key. So let's go back in. We want to get up to 40 so we can use the key to unlock the doors if they are locked. And then... We will proceed. I'm going to die if I do that. Oh, boy. I just got to get out. Okay, I got exactly 40 coins, though, on that one. Okay. So we're going to get this now. Nice. I still don't know how to win. There's got to be, like, some sort of exit in one of these dungeons that can take me to the end of the level. Or am I going... Like, I'm going, I'm going really far here. Probably not a good idea to be doing what I'm doing. It definitely wasn't a good idea. I got to go all the way back now. Oh, God damn, dude. I can't see sometimes. It's so frustrating. You can't see where you're falling. Dude, I went, I'm, I'm so far away from the entrance. I think I'm dead here. Oh, dude, I found it. I found an exit. <gasps> I found an exit. I went super deep and I found the exit. Okay, I'm taking the moons. Take me out. I did it. So you gotta like, you gotta get the key, but if you can get other power-ups that help you get- Whoa, my God! Dude, I'm regretting not getting the robot upgrade. I'm seriously regretting not getting the robot upgrade now. I guess you can't switch. It forces- God damn, dude! I'm totally into what this creator was going for. Holy shoot, I jumped all the way over there. Yeah, okay. I get it. But I feel like I'm being chased now. Holy- What? What? Wait, what? What? There was a gate. I couldn't- Oh, the key's underneath, dude. That's so hard to get. What? That's so hard to get. Hey, can I- Can I still make it out of here? That was a hard jump to do. Spam! I'm spamming. Wait! I'm spamming, man! Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. Do I win? Oh. Oh, I did it. I think I think I did it. Right? Is it? Yeah, I did do it. Oh, 
Wow, dude, that sucked so many of my lives, man. That sucked a lot of lives. 15 lives lost. Checks out, man. I got 76 lives left. Ooh. Moving on to the easy demon. The newest rated easy demon is one called Jumpman by Lieb. Them boys up to something short and sweet platformer that I made in the first two weeks of 2.2. Cool. The Jumpman. I'm a man and I like to jump. Oh. Oh, yeah. What about the mushroom? No, that's a blue mushroom. If I know anything about mushrooms from Mario, ow. I know anything for mushrooms in Mario games. Blue mushrooms, bad. Okay, I can I can see how this works. Oh, I see. I was one. Oh, what? When you're on it? Oh, it only lasts for a certain amount of time. I see. Okay, this is this is pretty challenging. I see how it do. Oh, dude, but I, I shrunk. But I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's a bad thing. I need to get small to get that though. So that stays up. But then I can get this other mushroom. Oh. I'm just dead. If I get that mushroom, I die. I feel like if I mini, that's fine. But I got to land on this platform under here. Okay, I think I know what I got to do. Because I think I do have to be mini. But then I have to land over here. But then I got to wait, stupid. It's, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I need to wait for that to go. And then now that I'm small, I need to go up here, right? All over here and then go and teleport over that way and go up okay i got it i got it it's it's very puzzly which is actually pretty cool i'm down for that but it's also quite challenging at the same time so that's gonna make that go but i need to be fast i need to go up here and then hit this green wow that's how rude got it where do i go i got the electric thingy there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, dude. Oh, you just gotta hit him multiple times. Okay. So I can't get up there. I, I'm guessing I gotta hit this. No? That, did, that didn't do anything! Oh no, it did do something. But I gotta go all the way back here. Oh, I did it. 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 What? But I can't make it up because I'm not big. I know there's a mushroom. Was I supposed to get big somehow? Oh, no, oh, dude. Oh no. How do I... Oh, I see how I get that. Yeah, it's a puzzle, all right. You gotta get it like this. And then, what do I, huh? I can make it here. Oh, oh, you just go, you just go up. The, dude, I don't understand how that works. Cause you, I think you had to land like, no, 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 no. But sometimes I don't go that high on it. Like that, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculously hard. How is this an easy tape? Okay. So that goes there. It disappears really quick. That is so sick. What do you mean you can't make that jump? I made the... Yeah, I did it. That was really intense. But what do I do here now? Oh, you fall down. Okay, so I need to become a small. And that's it. I'm almost at the top. So it's a, sh it's a really hard easy demon, but it's short. Cool. So I need to get this mini. And what is what did that do? I thought it was going to make the one over on the left appear, but I'm not too sure what appeared or didn't appear because I know the green one over there makes that appear and you can go back over there as the mini. You need to I, I see you need to have the normal mushroom. Don't get me wrong. This is a very cool level. It's just this is not the kind of level I wanted for an easy demon, you know, on this challenge because it's, it's quite difficult. But what does that do for me? Oh, it makes it so I can become big again. Yeah, I, it makes it so you can become big again. But there's spikes on top of there. I'm going to die if I jump up there. Oh, but it doesn't matter because um, I, I have this platform already activated. Yeah, of course. Duh. Like, I'm so dumb. Okay. Excellent. I beat it. I got the Path of Metal Master. Nice. I better switch that. I beat the Easy Demon. Oh my god. I was stressing out so hard. I died so many lives to that. 24 lives were lost. I'm at 52 lives left. I still, I, you know, it's pretty good. I guess it's pretty good. But one sec. I mastered my Metal Path. So let's get that nice. Very cool. And there's Metal Sonic, not Shadow Sonic, like I called it in the last video. <laughs> Oops. The newest rated medium demon in the game is Boss Rush by GD Ticklos. Oh boy. Some of the most iconic beasts in the entire Topolini city. Want a rematch with you, do you accept? I don't know about this. I think we're about to get, I think we're about to lose. I think we're about to lose. Do not use practice mode for a better experience. Okay. So practice mode, but I want, like I said, I want to do normal geometry levels. Well, it looks pretty normal to me. Um, let's just go through here. What's the information? 
Save settings. Hardcore mode. No, no. More boss attacks. We just want norm normal mode for me. Point info, boss info. First boss. Oh, that's awesome, dude. One of the wildest creatures from GD 2.0 from the boss uh, from Horizon. Oh, cool. This is going to be a bunch of boss fights from levels. This is B. That's awesome. Serious by funny game. So there's all sorts of uh, boss nods to like early geometry dash. Test mode, Hall of Fame, no clip mode, disable life bar, disable checkpoints. None of that. Let's just go and do it. Let's see what this is all about. Round one. Oh. Oh. Okay, so there's actual levels then too, I guess. Maybe her name is Anemone from, uh, yeah, from Horizon. Classic, dude. Oh, do you, I think I die in one hit, though. Oh, I need to get over to the lightning. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Ow, rude. I just got, I just got crushed. Ah, dude, if you, yeah, if you touch her, you lose. I'm too focused on dodging the attacks and not worrying about, like, if she comes into contact with me. She keeps on cr crushing me. Does she do, she just does the same attacks over and over again until I actually, like, damage her. That's insane, dude. You just gotta move your way over so slow, but sometimes you don't know which way she's gonna go. Like, it would be nice if there was a direction, like she's gonna go left or right or up or down. Oh my. Oh no, she do it does actually show. I just wasn't looking at the boss. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just such, I'm a noob, dude. I'm a noob. Oh man. Got it. Dude, that did barely any damage to her at all. Oh my God, where's the next one? Holy shoot. Holy shoot. Oh my. Okay, we did some more. We gotta go up now. Okay, so she's going up there, down. This is, this is so hard. Oh, she, uh, she went up. She went, uh, oh. The ones that are above her are really hard to get. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Okay, I smacked her again. And the next one is on the bottom. Luckily, I fell down here. Like there is definitely a uh, pattern to it, but you have to be extremely patient so patient sometimes so patient where you got to wait for like her next oh no oh i got a checkpoint that's nice he's going nuts so much concentration is required for this although the lasers don't attack that fast so that actually makes it pretty easy i thought they were gonna attack faster than that although it is going a little bit faster now oh it's, it's at the very top man okay let's just get it okay we're i, I got ah this is boss number one too this is boss rush after all, right? That's the last one, right? That's the last one. I did it. Anemone. Anemone? 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 End. Boss defeat 234 seconds. But that's just the first. That's just the first boss. What does this do? Oh, I guess we got to do that. It opens it up. Now, is this a serious fight or is this, this is the B fight, isn't it? Okay. So that fight wasn't that bad. Anemone. That fight wasn't that bad once you know what to do. Uh, this one... Oh. Oh, you gotta you gotta drop stuff on the bee's head. You gotta time it. That's that's cool. Wall attack. I'm not too... Oh, yeah, I see. <gasps> okay, so the wall attack, it shows where they're coming in on. I'm so... Oh, you can land on top of them. Thank God. I, that was a, such a, a crazy jump. Small bees. I guess, I guess I can't... I, I'm really good at dodging the attacks. I'm just bad at actually hitting B. So B doesn't actually hit you. It's just the attacks that get you. Oh, you can jump on B's head too. Oh, what? But I jumped on B's head. Hey. Oh, it has to be when he's big. He, when he's there, he's behind. I see. The bowling ball's got to do more damage, right? B does not go down quick. Oh, you can land... The bowling ball is for when B's in the background. And there we go. And you can jump on his head when he's in the foreground or like on the same level. Oh, dude, what? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Don't know. Wait, why did I switch? Crap. I got a checkpoint at least. Interesting. I just want to stay at the top for these attacks. So wait for it. And then this one that goes up, you need to go like right in the middle. Okay. It's just a bunch of... Oh, you stupid bee. I hit him. Nice. I hit him. See that? Boom. I hit him again. Get crunched, dude. Dude, I just crushed him. I, I fluked out and I hit him with a bunch of attacks. I didn't even know he was going to be going to those places. What a fluke. Round three. Teaching us things. Hitting a switch. Because this is... The, it's actually really cool how it teaches you because that's what the boss mechanic's going to be like. 
So it teaches you, like, that's what you have to do. And this is going to be the serious boss. And then I think there's one more boss after, though. Oh, my. There's two more bosses. Let's hope I can understand this one a little bit quicker. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm going to be UFO. This is such a cool level. Just not the kind of level I would have liked for this challenge because... Uh, oh, I got to hit switches. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude. I, I absolutely missed all those switches. Thank you for the indicators on this, though. No! The switches... They go out so fast. This is this is good. I think I'll be able to do this one fairly well. I think. Holy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got one. Finally. Spike's coming out again. Okay. Doing a hit. I could have got a double hit, perhaps. Okay. Maybe I should wait over here. No. I was waiting for that platform to come out. The buttons? But the buttons definitely did not come out. Oh, I see. It's because, like, you can't hit the top button multiple times, I think. What? What, what, what? I need to hit the bottom one. Nice, I did it. I did it. Okay. I did that in one attempt. Sick. Now we're a robot. Now we got to hit the button that's on his bum. I believe that's his bum. Oh, we only have a certain amount of time for this. Oh, no. Shoot, he's going to blow. He's going to blow. But I think we got it. I think we got it. Nice. This is definitely the easiest one so far. That, that was that was definitely the easiest one. That was intense, though. That was really cool. That was the easiest one so far. Excellent. Now, I think there's one more because there was a big question mark. Um, that might only be on the highest difficulties. Maybe there's like on madness mode, there's a secret boss or something. Completed. I did it. Completed. Completed. Nice. And I got a coin. That's a one up, by the way. Nice. Boss rush. Dude, the neutral run. Yeah, and I don't care. I do. That's we're just here to complete the levels. Okay, so I got a one up. So I'm going to take I'm going to give myself one life. So we are leaving this level with 37 lives left. Oh my, can we do a hard demon too? The newest rated hard demon is an epic one called Back Again by Akvaz, inspired by Just Shapes and Beats. Now, if this is a mini game level though, we don't do the mini game levels, we just do normal levels. Although no, this, this looks like we could do this. And when the screen flashes blue, that really trips me out because like, I really think like I'm just screwed. Oh man, oh my, that's hard. Maybe we get a checkpoint, though. Cause that, that was super intense, but it's quite doable. I got the... Why'd I go for the coin? Oh! Oh! Right at the checkpoint! Oh, dude, I'm not getting the coin. Damn. Okay, we got the checkpoint. Nice. Because sometimes when it's flashing blue, and you don't really know, like, where you're gonna be... I, like, sometimes when the whole screen turns blue... You don't know if where you are, you're actually going to die or not because there's some blue parts where it flashes like a line and that kills you. But sometimes when, sometimes when the whole gre screen flashes blue, like you don't know what to do. I don't like that. Like I wish the whole screen would stop flashing blue, you know, because I think I'm going to die where I'm at. And I'm like, but you don't. Yeah, it looks like you're going to die in the middle because it flashes blue. But at least we know what to do. A little bit of memorization, whatever. Oh, 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 what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, 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 you, you squares are crazy. Come on, give me another checkpoint, please. What checkpoint? You, you're bound. What? I don't know where I am. What, what? What just happened? I did it! We beat the hard demon! Okay, that was nuts. That was a bit of memorization based. It wasn't a typical platformer level, but we did it. We absolutely did it. Very cool level. Just for this challenge, it, I was freaking out because I didn't think that was going to work, but it actually ended up working in our favor. 23 lives and we're off the insane demon. The newest rated insane demon is called Wall Jump by Fuego Pro. Pro tip, jump on the wall. Okay. I'm here. Jump on the wall in one sec. There's a start position switcher here. I'm going to turn that off. I use that for practicing. Okay. Wall jump. Start and settings. What are their settings? Oh, okay. Cool. No. Uh, pixelated shader. Let's turn it off so it's easier to read. And we're just going to start. The pixelated shader looks cool, but it's easier to read where you are without it. Okay. So this is going to be a level all about wall jumps. Whoa. Um, but I want the key. Absolutely want this key. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but, but we're going to do it. Okay, cool. This sounds like a Mega Man song. Okay, so this is more of a typical platformer level that I imagined we were going to get. Now, I think the keys, though, I think the keys are going to be about um, unlocking like a coin or something. So I'm not going to risk myself for that. Okay. Wow, it gets hard. Now, keep in mind, there's three out of 26 rooms. 
So there's 26 rooms. These are basically going to be like tutorial rooms, you know. It's basically showing us how the mechanic works. Ow. Rip. But maybe we can squeeze our way through if we're really careful and we're able to read. This is kind of what I was expecting levels to be like uh, today. This is what I was expecting them to be. Kind of similar to this. But we're doing it! We're doing it. Insane demon. Insane demon. We still have 21 rooms left. Oh, you have to double tap that so quick. I'll try my hardest, but... Yeah, I made it. I made it. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I can do that. I just... I didn't hit the blue orb. You gotta hit the... Oh, no! Oh, dude. If you're right on the wall, you just jump. I think I'm just gonna jump up on the wall. But if you are by it, you get... You get creamed. Oh, man. Is gravity lower or something? Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, that's cool. Like that. Now we're a ball. I'm at room 8 out of 26 with 18 lives left. It's going to take a miracle to get this. One sec. It says to go up here. Ow. Okay, this is confusing. Because I feel like I got to land on the platform that's beside me to the right. Except I'm not too sure because I'm reverse, reverse gravity. Like, I don't know how to do that. I got It's it's too hard. Okay, I think I know what I got to do. I think I got to, like, fall. I see. It's really hard, though. And then you go up there like that. That's so hard, dude. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Thank God I did it. Okay. Oh my God. And I'm a spider here. Oh, that's really hard. Okay. I made it. Now what? <laughs> I... That's cool. I like this platform. It's really cool. I'm just not too sure what I do because I don't know how to get to the bottom. Oh, wait. I know. Oh my, that's, yeah, I didn't expect the level, this level to get like so kind of puzzly as well, but I get it. You got to be upside down here and then, hmm, I feel like that's what you got to do though. You got to be upside down. You got to jump to that wall and then you got to jump over. I only have four lives left. I think this is where it ends. Well, we made it to the insane demon, which is pretty impressive. I, I figured something out. That's how you do it. I figured it out. Wild. Okay. I have two lives left. So in other words, it's not looking good. Okay. Wait. Oh, you got to... I didn't realize I was about to fall into that last life. I can lose... Oops. I can lose this life. There we go. Now I have zero lives left. Now, if I die, it's game over. Because there's zero extra lives left is what I'll say. That's it. It's game over. We made it through a bunch of levels all the way up to... We completed the hard demon... And we are almost halfway through the insane demon. So we did pretty damn good, I think. This was such a sick challenge. And I'm actually going to include this level in another video because I love it. It's That's a really cool uh, level. What did you guys think about this 100 life challenge? It was really stressful. And so I was freaking out at the end. But that's a part of the fun. I really enjoyed doing this. If you want me to do it again, leave a comment and let me know. I loved it. It was fun. It was so fun. I love these 100 life challenges doing rated levels because I get really into these levels that I'm playing and they're rated and so they have like this seal of approval, like a certain standard is met. So it's it's really intense because I feel like I could get through these levels if I'm careful, if I'm playing well, you know? So next time I do this challenge, I got to try to get past the insane demon. That is the goal. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Leave a thumbs up and as always, peace.